Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very quick video about the latest firmware update on the LG CX04-4020 and so far I can say everything is hunky-dory. Okay, so let's go straight to the facts. I tested, of course, the maximum peak brightness on the CX after the firmware update without doing any factory reset, because that's the point. We shouldn't need to do a factory reset to have actually the full capabilities after a firmware update. So on this TV, I updated the firmware 044020. Everything was just fine. There was no issue at all. It also just uh, took all my um, calibration settings over so there's also no issue in terms of that and yeah I couldn't find any problem so far all what I have tested in terms of apps like Netflix Disney Plus Amazon Prime and of course gaming in terms of HDR and Dolby Vision everything works just perfect but let's talk about some numbers let's talk about maximum peak brightness before the update and after the update and I couldn't find any difference to the previous firmware 04 4016 I think it was yes correct 04 4016 so um, we know that with 04 4016 there was something like an improvement of the picture which was a little bit yeah maybe coincidence maybe just you know too much alcohol but anyway there was something happening and I'm very happy with the picture quality since then and I can say nothing has changed it's still the same it's still a very outstanding picture on the cx but again after i did a lot of testing with the latest firmware on the cx comparing with my g2 i still can say that yeah the cx is a great tv but comparing to newer tvs like the g2 or maybe a95k and s95b you can see that the maximum peak brightness on the cx yeah it's not enough anymore when you compare the TVs, okay? On its own, still outstanding performance in my opinion, but yeah, there's a reason why the G2 is my main TV. Okay, anyway, let's talk numbers. So I measured a couple of things like HDR Dolby Vision Gaming, HDR 10 uh, person pattern, and also SDR maximum peak brightness. And again, I couldn't find any difference compared to the latest or last firmware. Um, in HDR 10 person pattern I measured, measured actually around 670 candela after calibration of course which is a very good value. In gaming when we're talking about Dolby Vision HDR 10 gaming then I'm using always the same test sequence actually or test room in this case it's a cyberpunk my bathroom scene where you have a very bright lamp lamp in the in the corner and i measured this lamp in with this firmware with 04420 20 with 650 candleline dolby vision and uh, 660 candleline hdr 10 so this is the same value or those are the same values as with the previous firmware when I did the same testing. And in terms of SDR gaming or SDR maximum peak brightness, I measured 260 candela on a 10% window, which is absolutely fine for SDR content and full field, which means the whole picture was displaying a white picture, white test pattern. It was 180 candela. Also there is no problem at all in terms of the maximum peak brightness. And I almost forgot, we have of course thousands of fixes in this firmware according to LG. Just have a look here. Okay, as so a final conclusion for this firmware and I like to make it very quick. You can install it from my end. There is nothing wrong. Everything is fine. Everything is hunky-dory. Peak brightness is still the same. My calibration settings are still the same. I haven't had any problem with any apps in terms of, yeah, they shutting off or having a weird behavior nothing is not working at the moment. Let's say like this, everything is just fine. But that doesn't mean that of course on different models, maybe you will experience some issues. So this is the 65 inch TV or LG uh, CX. I'm not quite sure if the 55 or different sizes are getting actually the exact same firmware, but this can be of course a difference but on my 65 inch LG CX in Australia here there is no problem so I would say go for it.